Welcome to day three of the 30 day game challenge. This is Chad McRae. Um, as you can see right away that quite a bit has changed since day one. Um, I forgot to make a post yesterday, uh, but that doesn't mean I was busy as you can see. Uh, there's quite a th few things going on with this scene. First of all, uh, I, I now have rolling hills, so I changed up the terrain. I've got a skybox um, with the sun pointing towards the camera, so the shadows will be on our side of the uh, character. I have an NPC back there bailing some hay. And uh, I have a sword there on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, other than that, these are the same uh, buildings that were there in some same uh, props such as the campfire and I'll show you what I've got so far as I walk over uh, I slightly change the script a little bit to focus more on the character um, as you can see it's zoomed in I want to, the player to focus on uh, both the attention of the sword uh, which I'm prepared to pick up So as you can see, he picked up the sword, uh, it played an unsheathed sound, and then uh, as I hold control, which is unfortunately also my microphone key, uh, a, a sound of a swing, of him swinging the sword plays. Um, I'll, I'll hit play, and uh, I won't be able to talk while I'm playing, um, but you'll be able to see that his walk animation has also now slightly changed that he's picked up a weapon. Okay, um, I've got a few scripts to go over real quick, and uh, that'll be today's video. Okay, this is the first new script that I've created. Um, the class name is Character Equipment. Uh, this class is going to grow substantially as I introduce more weapons and uh, different types of um, abilities for the player. Uh, it's got a few properties. Um, one is called is holding something and this is a boolean that just says is the player holding anything and then I also have another one that says has one handed weapon so is it holding a one handed weapon um, it cannot hold a one handed weapon but not hold something if that makes sense it's also got a uh, one handed run animation clip and then a string for the equipment name and what I've got down here in the update function is when the boolean for it has a one-handed weapon gets flipped um, we change the run animation in the character move script uh, to the one that's been assigned by the one-handed run and then also we then enable the view of the equipment So if I go into the character move script, it's slightly changed. I removed the hard-coded um, animation names in some of the uh, attributes, such as the animation play speed. Um, I'll, I'll just go ahead and get started with one of the first methods. Hero attack. So whenever the player presses the fire one um, button, which in most cases is your left mouse button, or the control button, uh, <clears throat> the engine will find the player with the equipment and check to see if it's holding something. If it is, it then will go into um, what soon will be a larger if statement and play um, an animation and it will also, if it's not already playing a sound, play a swinging sound. So if I come down here to the randomized method, this is what determines which of the three swing sound effects gets played. And uh, when it gets returned, it initializes the audio source with the clip and then it plays. So here you can see um, where I've removed the hard-coded values in the play animation uh, method and I'm using runanim.name uh, and remember in the character equipment 
this run animation actually gets changed and I reference a animation clip instead of a string which makes the whole process a little cleaner. Okay, another change that I've made is to the platform camera and instead of um, just simply modifying the camera's position I am now also modifying the field of view. Uh, this makes a cinematic feel to the transition, not just a, you know a dolly rig where you're moving the camera, but actually adjusting uh, the field of view. And then, last but not least, is a script for all applicable uh, pickable items. Um, for a little effect, I like to have the um, item rotating, um, and then I I've started um, referencing what type of pickup item it is. Uh, so for every frame, we're going to rotate at the rotation speed multiplied by the delta time. Um, if it's an object. Uh, when we run into it, uh, we're going to play the pickup sound effect or the unsheathed sound, and then I'll set this boolean destroy item to true. When that's true, and it's done playing uh, the audio clip, we're going to turn on the is holding something and the is one handed weapon, and then assign it the equipment name and the uh, equipment name in this case is the one-handed sword and uh, that's how our player knows that he's holding a one-handed sword so um, I, I downloaded these um, sword swinging effects from opengameart.org and just searched for sword or unsheath and uh, found a nice pack However, the sounds were a little quick and short. And so what you see here is Audacity. And Audacity is my audio editing tool that I use to um, edit the sound effects. And what I did is I moved a delay in front of the sound so then the uh, swing sound won't play until um, about a third of a second into the swing. Um, and then from there, I also added an effect of um, of change speed. And uh, what that does is it kind of slows down the sound effect and gives it a deeper uh, sounding, a, a deeper sound, like almost it's slow motion. Um, this makes the sound play more through the swing that the character is making, uh, which I really like. So if I, it's got a, a little delay and then it, a swing. Um, the audacity is free. Uh, just Google for it, and uh, it's very very. Powerful.